Hi, I'm Robert Rieke, and this is the Manhattan Wood Project. Sometimes you just need to frame somebody. And to make a good frame, you need a good tool. A frame clamp is one of the best ways to make a frame. Now if I was making this brand new, I'd have four pieces, all glued up, glue still wet. i put it right here in the frame clamp. So you can squeeze it together with a hand clamp, like this, or a C-clamp. And right there, there's pressure on all four corners lining this up. I can even move this out of the way while it dries. I don't have to be careful about it. So this is a really handy tool, easy to build, and it'll last a long time. And the best part is that you can use something like this on frames that are broken too. All you have to do, take these pieces in the middle, put them on the bottom, and then from the bottom attach your clamp. That way you don't even have to take the glass or the picture or anything out. So this is really easy to make. If you want to see how I built it, stay tuned. I made a template of the swiveling arm out of 3 8 inch MDF. I printed it out using the Big Print program, which you can get at woodgears.ca. After I made the template, I used the bandsaw to rough cut five copies of the swiveling arm from 2.5 inch by 3 quarter inch birch. And then I used double sided tape to stick the template to the rough cuts and routed them to match the template better. I used 3 8 inch and quarter inch Forstner bits to mark the center hole and the relief hole in the swiveling arms, since that's what I used on the template. I drilled a quarter inch relief hole at the end of each 90 degree cut, just to let any glue squeeze out escape. Although I'm using 1 quarter 20 hardware, I drilled the mounting hole 3 8 of an inch so that the whole thing would have just a little bit more wiggle room. I cut four long legs and two clamp arms to length from inch and a half by three quarter inch birch. I marked all of the holes in one leg, then used double sided tape to tape it to another leg. Then I drilled most of the way through the second leg, the one on the bottom. After that, I separated the legs and then used double sided tape to stick those two legs that had holes in them to the two legs that didn't have holes. After that, it was just a matter of drilling holes, and drilling holes, and drilling holes, and drilling holes, and drilling more holes, and letting my daughter drill a couple holes. I'm still getting used to using double-sided tape. If you use too little, then the pieces don't really stick together very well, and they can shift around, especially if you're using one, or one piece for routing. If you use too much tape, you end up damaging the wood pieces trying to take it apart. Conveniently, the interior diameter of the roll of double-sided tape was about an inch and a half, so I could use it to mark a nice round end on all the clamp arms and legs. After marking the round ends, I used a bandsaw to make a nice rough cut, and then cleaned up one of the clamp arms to use it as a template. After that, it was just a matter of sticking or holding the clamp arm to one of the legs, and then running it over the router so that I could get a nice smooth end on every single piece. After using the router to make a nice round end, I used my disc sander to kind of smooth up all the router and bandsaw cuts that were left on the arms and legs. I didn't have to round over the end of the clamp arms and all the legs. I did that just for aesthetics. I figure if I'm going to do something, I might as well make it pretty as well as functional. After using the disc sander, I routed a small round over on all the legs, the clamp arms, and all the exterior surfaces of the swiveling arms. After routing, I hand sanded and used my random orbital sander to sand all the pieces smooth. Then I applied two coats of shellac. I sanded lightly with 400 grit sandpaper between coats. Here's the parts of my frame clamp. I put two layers of shellac on, they're nice and smooth, uh, nice and shiny, pretty looking. Now it's time to put it together. You can see my daughter in the background being corny. Say hi mom. Alright. To assemble the frame clamps, I used quarter twenty bolts, wing nuts, metal washers on the top and bottom, and a thicker nylon washer between the legs and the swiveling arms.
You don't have to do square frames because these are set so that you can do, say, tall skinny frames. Or you can move these arms closer, farther out. You can make the frame basically any size you want as long as you're willing to make larger parts or sometimes smaller parts if you want to make really small frames. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I learned quite a bit going through it, just coming up with different techniques and researching different techniques. If you have any questions or comments, let me know on Facebook, on YouTube, or on my website. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next project.